another morning. I start each day with the same old routine. When this first started, each morning it seemed that I had to remind myself that this wasn't just for one day. They were still living in this nightmare. And I had to be cautious and observant more so than I've ever been in my life. Every day I walk out and I wonder, what kind of nightmare am I going to walk into today? My gym has since reopened, but I read about one gym, I think it was in Roanoke, Virginia. One of the members had COVID-19, and now all the members had to quarantine themselves for two weeks. I just make do with what I can. I try to uh, find something heavy, lift it up, work with it, and see what I can do. This is what I do every morning. I made my lunch for work. Well, at least I still have a job. I feel kind of guilty brown bagging it. When I work in the food industry, I should be supporting the other people in the food industry when I drive around and make deliveries. I'm just trying to cut corners and save as much as I can because I just need to pay off some bills and some credit cards and well, it doesn't matter anyways because there's not really any place to go out to. All the bars are curbside only. I can't even go out and play guitar at an open mic. What if I get sick and I have to go to the hospital? Too many germs hanging around there. What if somebody comes in with COVID-19 and they don't properly social distance? What's gonna happen to me or anybody else? Each morning I take my temperature just to make sure I'm healthy. 97.6, I guess that's about average. 98.6 is the proper temperature, but as long as it's below normal, not above, I'm not worried. Well, with no place else to go, one of the ways I pass time is doing a little house cleaning. Always gotta gather up some, some of my hair because I molt like a sheepdog. Oh, that thing. I guess it's gonna be some time before I start thinking about that kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm too cautious. And I bet you thought the age of AIDS ended casual sex, huh? To add to my income, I'll sell whatever collectibles I have laying around on eBay. I'm surprised anything outside of bare necessities sells on eBay, but I guess some people still have the money. Some people can still afford to live their life extravagantly. I do hear about parties and such, and some of them do get raided for not social distancing or whatever. Well, take it one day at a time, I guess. See where the trends follow. You know, some of the other nonsense I find here and there, which I sell, little tins which I thought I could sell to maybe a kindergarten teacher, for use as an art project in her class. No so much for that right now. A Delta Airlines travel bag, toothpaste and aspirins or whatever. Travel. Where? Can't go anywhere. And at least 33 countries won't let United States citizens enter their country. Gee, I wonder why. Pigs. So, this is the new normal. Waiters and waitresses, and face masks, crushed bottle, look at this. People are pigs. Face mask on the ground. The Easton Public Library, sort of my second home. 
Every morning I'd stop there, do some internet stuff before going to work. Plenty of books, not everything is online. And lots of CDs and DVDs. The CDs, of course, they use for my radio show. I, the DVDs, I bring home and I just have something to watch at night. Haven't had cable in about 10 years. I missed the payment, it got cut off, and I just never bothered to rehook it up. I wasn't watching that much on television anyways, except for cartoons and the news. I bought this thing nearly two years ago. Brand new. It's a 2019, I bought it in 2018. First time I've ever bought a car of the year before it came out. I guess I'm lucky I bought it when I did. I sure don't know how I'd be able to pay for it right now, given the current situation. Didn't check the mail last night. Let's see if I got anything. Sometimes I wonder if I should touch anything put in by the mail courier. What if they caught a disease and the symptoms didn't show up? Or didn't show up yet? Before they put the mail in my box? A bill? I remember everybody thinking how life is going to be so different after 9-11. How we're all going to be more cautious about things and report if we see something suspicious looking. If you see something, say something. An older friend of mine, Joe, I don't know how he would have reacted to this situation. Well, at least he got out of here in time. When I started making this film, I realized I wasn't wearing a mask outside. Shame on me. I have to wear this at work and I have to try to set a good example. A lot of people may not agree with me. Some say, well, it doesn't protect you from getting the disease. No, it does not. But it prevents you from spreading the disease. It covers your mouth. I mean, think back to when you were a kid. What were we all told? Cover your mouth when you cough. Well, this is more complicated than a cough. This is more dangerous. Folks, wear a mask. <laughs>